Healthy living tonight. News for anyone who's ever been, for instance, kept waiting in the doctor's office. We have word that 13 medical schools around the country are about to institute a significant change. They are going to test future doctors on their aptitude with patients, bedside, office-side manner. And ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is here with a kind of call to arms about what patients deserve. You know, that's right. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a patient. And I know how tough it can be to ask those questions when you're with your doctor. So tonight, I'm here to empower you. And you have said you have this right that doctors do not keep you waiting. That's right. You have the right to not be kept waiting by your doctor. And it happens time and time again. One of our producers here was complaining to, to me about this, and I asked her to, to show me what, what she does. But, but it happens over and over again. Occasionally there's an emergency, and that's acceptable. But that should be explained to you, and, and you should receive an apology. And you were telling me about a woman who got her doctor to pay her when he kept her waiting? I think that this is absolutely beautiful. Elaine Farstad decided her, her time was worth something. So she calculated how much it was worth, she sent a bill to her doctor, and she collected. So here's what I'm telling you tonight. Send your doctor a bill or tell your doctor's office that if you're kept waiting, you're going to find another doctor. And second on your list, and this is tough for absolutely everybody, how you ask for a second opinion in the right way. It's the hardest thing for a patient to do and the most important. So I took our producer and I said, okay, let me teach you how you go about asking for a second opinion in the right way. And, and watch how she did. Jane, unfortunately, you have a ruptured disc in your back and you need to have surgery. Okay, but I would really feel more comfortable if I could get a second opinion. No problem. Is, is there someone you'd like to see or, or could I recommend a couple people? All right, so key words, I would feel more comfortable. That's right. You know, she did it in a way that didn't make me feel defensive. You know, she, she acknowledged that I gave her an opinion, but then expressed discomfort. And for a doctor, a good doctor, that tells you she's, she's taking charge of her own health, and it gives us an opportunity to develop a more trusting relationship. It's so important. As you know, this week, ABC's medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, has been bringing us his checklist for all of us as patients, his Bill of Rights. Number one, he said last night, was you have a right not to be kept waiting by your doctor. Number two, a right to a second opinion and how to ask for it. And he's here with two more tonight. What's the first, Rich? Okay, here's the first one, and it involves this, a paper gown. Mm. You know, everybody knows as soon as you put this on, it changes that relationship with your doctor. You immediately feel vulnerable. You have the right to sit down with your doctor and talk to your doctor with your clothes on. Every patient should have that dignity. Put them on, then have your conversation about the diagnosis. Exactly. And washing their hands. How do you ask a doctor to wash his hands? Well, it, it is a fundamental right for patients. Doctors are busy going in and out of rooms. They can forget. You have the right to know, did your doctor wash their hands? You have the right to say, you know, I'm a little weird about germs. Mm -hmm. Could you wash your hands? No good doctor is going to take offense about that. You know, even doctors are working right now to get doctors to wash their hands more. Hospitals are having a competition and they're sending in their videos for hand washing. Little music videos. Yes. Let's watch. And wash it harder. 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 Love them out in San Diego there. So what about hand sanitizer, Purell, just as good? Absolutely it is, you know, as long as they're doing something. I, I've posted my full patient's bill of rights up on abcnews.com. I'd love for people to take a look at that and write me. Are there any rights that are important to you that I've missed?